After a partial vitrectomy has been performed, the patient is ready for the Ahmed glaucoma valve with Pars Plana Clip surgery. Priming the valve. What is priming? Priming is the process of removing all of the air from the tube as well as the valve body and then filling this area with normal saline. Therefore, when the tube is inserted into the posterior chamber, there is immediate communication with the valve and there is no interlocking of air in the pathway. Why is priming important? It is important to remove the air so that the eye does not have to exert pressure in order for the aqueous to pass through the valve. Method of priming. Priming is accomplished by injecting 2cc balanced salt solution or sterile water through the drainage tube using a 26 gauge cannula. A lot of force is required to push the fluid through the tube with the Pars Plana clip. Forming a pocket. Where should the valve plate be placed? First choice, superior temporal quadrant. Second choice, superior nasal quadrant. Third choice, inferior temporal quadrant. Fourth choice, inferior nasal quadrant. The Ahmed glaucoma valve is placed in between the sclera and tenons capsule about 8 to 10 millimeters away from the limbus. Take a sharp scalpel and make either a limbal or fornix based incision. Using blunt Westcott scissors, expand this incision making a deep pocket between the rectus muscles. The pocket should be deep enough for the valve to slide 8 to 10 millimeters away from the limbus. Placement of the valve. It is important to avoid holding the valve at the center. Always begin by holding the valve at the edge and push it into the previously created cavity. The valve will slide in easily. Continue to push it in until it can distinctly be seen 8 to 10 millimeters away from the limbus. If available, Use calipers to be certain that the valve is well placed between the rectus muscles and that the anterior edge is actually measured at 8 to 10 millimeters away from the limbus. Suturing the valve. Use the needle holder to hold the suturing needle. Use absorbable sutures, either nylon or vicryl sutures, of 8 0 or 10 -o sizes. You can place the sutures prior to insertion or suture through the holes at the anterior part of the valve. Two sutures are placed through these holes given a half thickness bite of sclera. The valve will now be secured in position on the sclera in between the rectus muscles. Placement of the tube in the pars plana. Using a 23 gauge needle, make a needle track about 3 to 4 millimeters away from the limbus where the partial vitrectomy has been performed. Cutting the tube. Measure the tube to be 3 to 4 millimeters from the needle track. Take sharp cutting scissors and cut the tube beveled upwards. Dispose of the excess tube that has been cut off. Move the clip over the tube so that the end of the tube can be inserted into the 23 gauge needle track. Make sure that the implant tube is placed in the area where the partial vitrectomy was performed. Suturing the clip. Place the clip over the tube and suture it through the two suture holes on the sides using 8O, 9O, or 10O nylon or vicryl sutures. Covering the tube with donor tissue. 
Place a patch graft over the pars plana clip up to the end of the limbus. Suture the graft with 8O, 9O, or 10O nylon or vicryl absorbable sutures. Pull the conjunctiva over the clip and close the wound by suturing it.